I'm not the only one with lighting issues, so that's great. The Seattle Kraken also don't have good lighting, and they're in the NHL. I'm just in my apartment, so I win. Last night, the New York Raiders come up with a 4-1 to win over the Seattle Kraken. It was a weird start. Right off the bat, everything stops, and you notice that one half of the rink is dark. The New York Rangers zone was much darker than it was on the other side. There was a lighting issue, so what do they do? They don't fix the lights. They don't. They're not able to do that. So instead, every 10 minutes, the Rangers and the Kraken are going to switch sides so that everybody has an opportunity to play on the light side. It was a really good start for the New York Rangers, especially in the neutral zone, again, compared to the last game. But... The defense for the Rangers was looking really, really strong. They were holding the Kraken down, and the Kraken were coming in off of having scored seven goals in their previous game. So the Rangers holding them to only two shots on goal within the first eight minutes was huge. Unfortunately, we did have the Kraken break through at one point, and their third shot on goal results in a goal. Schultz gets one past Jonathan Quick. But that first shift right after the Schultz goal, we saw the Rangers put it into a different gear. Philip Edo came out guns blazing. That was a great shift. And his line would be the star line of the night because as soon as the Rangers and the Kraken switch sides, Philip Edo puts off a beautiful pass, gets it through to Artemi Panarin, and Panarin ties the game up. Off of the shoulder. Get a good look here on the Super Mo. He just puts it right onto the bar. I mean, that's a heck of a shot. The Rangers go into that first period intermission, still tied 1-1, but we did see that shift in energy. So it's looking pretty good right now. I'm feeling pretty happy about this. And not to mention, the Rangers' defense, despite that one goal getting through, which I'm going to just blame it was dark. That's my blaming it on that. The defense did look so much friggin' stronger than they did in the game before. So hell yes. The second period comes out, and Capo Caco playing on that first line was Zibanejad and Kreider. Gives the Rangers the lead. Take a look here. Caco's able to get on the backside of Dumoulin here. The puck isn't crossed yet. Good effort there from Caco. Fight off the check of Dumoulin and able to get that puck that just leaked through Philip Grubauer. Great win off the faceoff by Truba. The puck gets up, gets to Kako. He puts it in the back of the net. The Rangers are up 2-1. Things are looking really good at this point. I'm loving the kind of play we're seeing across, and you could definitely tell that the Rangers were out skating, out playing, and out defending, and out scoring, obviously, <laughs> the Kraken. This goal for Capo Caco would be his 100th point of his NHL career, so that's also huge for him. I was curious about him coming into this season, wondering if this was going to be when we really see him, you know, step into his own, and it's looking like that so far for him, so that's dope. Now, once again, bringing it back to Philip Yedel. Philip Yedel puts on a move during the second period that absolutely embarrasses the Kraken. I'm going to show it to you because it's ridiculous. Look at this. Watch the puck go back down. Quick little move. And then he goes top shelf. Pulls that move, gets the pass off to Lafreniere. Lafreniere scores. Rangers are up 3-1. And like I said, this, this line, this second line, star of the show. They won the whole thing. They were the Rangers' best line last night. So the Rangers go into that second intermission up 3-1. to one. They held the crack into only two shots on goal that entire period. They had nine, Seattle had two. So that's in itself saying so much about their neutral zone play as well as their defensive play. Third period, once again, Philip Edel with his third assist of the game. He makes the play happen. The puck goes up. Panarin bats it down, regains control, and puts it in the back of the net. And then he throws his hands up towards the crossbar, and it goes in top shelf. Oh, went off Alexiak and Eberle. For Panarin's second goal of the game, Philip Udall's third assist for the game, and the New York Rangers are up 4-1. to one. I would go up there to say that alongside Philip Udall, Panarin was also probably the best player of the night. Eh, they're both. Eh, I don't know. I think they're both tied. Two guys, best players of the night. But they both had outstanding performances, and I love to see it. The Rangers hold it down. The Rangers come out with a 4-1 win, and everybody's happy, unless you live in Seattle, which I wouldn't be happy even if the Seattle Kraken did win 7-0, because you know what? Seattle sucks. East Coast all day. So, final stats of the game. The New York Rangers outshot the Seattle Kraken 27-19. Philip Edel, three assists, three points. You got Artemi Panarin with two points on the night. Keandre Miller, two points on the night. 
and Capo Caco scoring that, again, 100th point of his NHL career. Great game all around. That was the first game on what is a five-game road trip for the New York Rangers over on the West Coast. The next game is going to be Tuesday. It's at 9.45 at night. I hate when they play on the West Coast because your girl needs her sleep. But 9.45 against Calgary. We will see how that goes off. Jonathan Quick did play in net last night for the Rangers. So I'm sure we're going to see Shesterkin in for Tuesday night's game. And you're going to see me for that game too because I will be here after every game putting up a video, breaking down what's going on and letting you guys know how I feel. And hopefully you guys will let me know how you feel. Put that down in the comments. If you want more of The Glove Drop, you can find me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at The Glove Drop. Put it right here. Yeah. And make sure that you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you never miss any of my videos. Thank you guys all for coming through. Huge win once again. I hope everybody's feeling happy. I will see you guys all in the next one. And until then, I'm going to see if I can fix my lights. Okay.